There are two popular types of wiring bases used on a Zeitun system. The first one is a ZP7-SB1-P detector base. And the second one is a SPB-2P sounder base. To wire a detector base simply connect your positive cable onto terminal number 5. And your negative cable onto terminal number 8. Terminal number 7 is used to connect the screen cables. If you need to connect a remote LED to the base, simply use the terminals number 2 and 3. The sounder base has two labels with two possible wiring configurations. If you use this configuration, only the ZP755BV3 and the ZP755BV4 sounders will function, however if you use the following configuration, all loop sounders will function, including the ZP755BV3 and the ZP755BV4 sounders. So, to wire a SPB-2P sounder base, Simply connect the positive cable to terminal number 5 and the negative cable to terminal number 6. Connect the screen cables to terminal number 7. Terminals numbered 1 and 2 are very rarely used. If you have exceeded the amount of sounders recommended to be fitted to the loop, then you can connect the sounders to an EN54, 24 volts power supply. Please be aware that the sounders are still controlled by the loop and connecting only the 24 volt supply without the loop cables will not activate the sounder. Now let's talk about the loop isolator bases. The loop isolator protects Zeiton addressable fire detection loops against short circuits, dividing the loop into monitored sections. There are two types of isolators bases that can be fitted onto a Zeiton loop. If you are using the ZP7-IB1, you can fit up to 16 isolators onto a Zeiton loop. If you have any legacy isolators for example the A60E-2 or the ZP760E-2 isolator, these must be also included within the count of 16 isolators. If you are using the ZP7-IB2, you can fit up to 127 isolators onto a Zeiton loop if the unit is configured for enhanced mode. If the ZP7-IB2 is running in enhanced mode, all of your isolator bases on your loop must be configured to this mode. If you have any legacy isolators for example the A60E-2, the ZP760 or the ZP7-IB1, then the unit must be configured to standard mode. Just as with a standard base, both isolator bases allows the detector to be removed or replaced without disconnecting the loop wiring from the detector. ZP7 detectors plug into the base unit with a simple twist and lock action, allowing quick and easy removal of the device. Also if you don't want to connect a device to the base, the ZP755-COV-P cover can be fitted onto the base. To wire an isolator base first make sure the test links are removed from the base. Then simply connect both the positive in and out cable to terminal number 5. Also, the red wire from the base must be fitted to terminal number 5. Connect the negative loop in cable to terminal number 6. Also, the black wire from the base must be fitted to terminal number 6. Connect the negative loop out cable to terminal number 8. Also, the grey wire from the base must be fitted to terminal number 8. The screen cables can be fitted onto terminal number 7. If you need to connect a remote LED to the base, simply use the terminals number 2 and 3.